Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Here we share beginner friendly coding tutorials on Scratch, Roblox, Minecraft, and many more. And today what we're going to do is a uh, Scratch Junior project about a jungle animation. In this project, I'm going to teach you how to create your jungle animation using Scratch. So here's a little demonstration of the project. We have some animals. When we click on them, there will be some animations. All right, like so. And then we also have a zookeeper right here. So the zookeeper is sort of the person who does the introduction. Okay, so here he's saying we're going to the jungle today. Tap on the characters to see them move. Then I also have a school bus that brings the zookeeper um, back. So let's get started in making our project. We'll start by adding a zookeeper in our project. So here I have chosen Tick to be my zookeeper. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my painting tool to give him some hat and some clothes. So I'm gonna click on my painting tool right now and I'm gonna first start off by giving him a hat. So here I have uh, Tick's hat ready. Now the next thing I'm going to do is also draw a shirt for Tick. Okay, and the last thing I want to do is I'm also going to go ahead and add some zookeeper boots for Tick. Okay, now that I have added all of the things that we want the zookeeper to have, I'm going to click on the tick mark and place him in our project. I'm going to place him in the bottom left corner. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in the jungle background. Right here. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the bus character so that um, it can be uh, shown right here above Tick. Okay, now I have it above Tick right here. The next thing I'm going to do is add three animals that is going to be displayed in our jungle. So I'm going to start off with adding a monkey right here. Okay, since it's a little bit big, I'm also going to use the purple shrinking block to make him a little smaller so that he fits right here on the school bus. And then the next thing would be to add second animal. I'm going to go ahead and choose a giraffe. Okay, so again, the giraffe would need some shrinking. So let me go ahead and shrink it and put it right here. And then add in my third animal, which is going to be a snake. Okay, so now that I have added in all my animals, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start coding our zookeeper tick. So the first thing I want Tick to do is, of course, um, green flag. I want to make sure when I click green flag that whatever Tick does uh, is supposed to do is starting to work. So I'm going to get my green flag, then get my speech bubble, right? So in my speech bubble right here, I'm going to put in, we're going to the jungle today. Now, before he says that, I also want him to move to the right 10 steps. So I'm gonna put that before the speech block and add in 10 steps, okay? And then after he does that, I want him to pause a little bit. So I'm just gonna put in two units for the time and then put in another message. So in this message, I'm going to basically provide the instructions on how to use our animation. So I'm going to say tap on the characters to see them move. Okay, and after he says that, pause again for two more seconds and then stop. All right, now we're going to go ahead and code the bus in our project so that when we click on the bus, it moves forward a little bit, pauses for a while, and then sends a message to Tick so that Tick can disappear. All right, so to send a message, we would need the send message block. So we're gonna first start off by going to our school bus sprite, get our event when character tapped, and then go ahead and say, all right, when that happens, we wanna move to the right two units and then send a message to our zookeeper. So that would be again, another event. And I'm gonna choose the orange envelope. After I do that, I'm going to wait for four seconds. And then I'm going to go ahead and just move to the right for 10 steps and then disappear and then stop. 
So I'm going to go to my purple block to get the disappear block right here and then get in my stop block. So the reason we want to send our zookeeper a message is that so when he opens it, he says goodbye. So we're going to get the open message block. All right. And then I'm going to get my speech bubble right here that we just got earlier. And I'm going to say, I got to go have fun. Okay, so when he says that, we're going to go ahead and put in some time blocks again. So we're going to put in three this time. Okay, so three. And then now when we put in that block, we're going to get the move up block. So it looks like he's moving into, move going into the school bus. Okay, making sure he also disappears. And then we can finally put in the stop block. Now that we've coded both the bus and the zookeeper, it's time to code the animals. So I'm going to start off with my giraffe. Again, I'm going to get my character tapped event and I'm going to use the repeat block right here. So that's repeat four times because I have the number four. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my turnaround block. Okay, so first turn to the right side, then the left side for two. Okay, and then back again at one. All right, so that's for my giraffe. Now moving on to my monkey, I'm going to say when character tapped, I'm going to make it go to the right side for three units and then move down for five units. Okay, and then also some turn turning block. So I'm gonna use turn right two, okay, and then some hop block. Okay, again, I'm going to use two, so I'm not changing anything. And then I'm going to do move to the right 14 time, uh, 14 units, and then disappear. Of course, we need our stop block. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and code the snake. Now for the snake, again, same event when character clicked, and I'm going to make it move to the right by eight blocks eight units, sorry, and then return back and then stop. All right, so let's have a look at our final project now. All right, so we're going to go ahead and of course, click on our green flag. So we have our zookeeper here. We're going to the jungle today. Okay, tap on the characters to see them move. Then I'm going to click on my school bus and he says, I got to go have fun goes up and then our school bus leaves. Okay, now we're gonna test our um, animals here. So first we have the monkey. Okay, then we have the giraffe. Then we have our snake. So that's it for our project today. So that's all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and like our other videos and also check out the two other videos here while you're waiting for the next one. Bye.